Okay. Hold up. Just over here. I'm going to do a couple and you do it. Get that grip it up here so the heel pad levers, right? Between the grip and you. Thumbprint. Hit it or miss it. But this event. A little, a little flusher down there. Right? Put a ball in place. Look at the grooves, get the grooves vertical, heel pad on top, thumbprint, tap tap, club's not on the ground, okay, the rhythm, all right, okay, to do that, you know, if I pull, I'm dead, right, there's a sense of hand, this little softness here, hand and club getting away from me. You know, then I get to kind of, you'll feel, hey, I can square that face. Well, because most people, you know, people are like terrified of the word casting, right? Everybody says, oh, I cast. And nah, people don't cast. People, if you have an open face, you, you know, you get tired of missing way over there. So you have to, you figure out how to stall and apply more right hand to get the face square, right? All I'm trying to do with you is take this Hurricane dude who, you know, you just, your issue, my friend, is, you know, you brought me this really funny takeaway, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're doing a nice job on that. And as you're doing a good job on that, and all of a sudden I'm seeing these arms get so freaking strong and like, you know, I want to I want to create this softness. The problem is, okay, I don't want your hands to enable too much of this excess hinge. Like I said, the greater the complexity you build up here, the more you got to get it out. Right. Right? So for you, I would love, like... Here's an interesting thing, like John Daly's got a really long swing, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, guess what he does is a big part of his every day he hits a few balls is always his left hand yeah. only swings. It's got great rhythm. He doesn't, he's not a handle puller. The, you know, this handle has this sense of getting away from him, squaring up and overtaking. All 85 to 100 shooters are afraid of casting. They need to learn how to get the club swinging properly, moving away from them. Okay, okay so, you know, suck at this for a bit. It's okay. You're going to be one of these where you kind of pull yeah. instead of patiently wait and let it kind of clip the ball. Come on in. Okay. You won't, you know, with any kind of intent and, you know, 15, 20 balls a, a day for a while. So you got the leveragey heel pad on top of the grip. Good. Thumbprints flush. Good. You know, tap the ladybug. Don't kill her. Okay, can you feel in the fall through the hold off move you got going on there a little bit? Pulling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So set the club back by the, where the divots are. Move you back a bit. Okay. Set the club on inside the divots here for a sec. Give me a bit of foot flare. Okay. Let me be the motor here, okay? Sure. Turn, 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 turn. So come on right side, turn, 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 turn. Go do it again. Okay, feet a little closer together, feet flurry, good. I'll be the motor, okay, so relax. See how I'm kind of letting this bend a bit and overtake and that's almost pointing at the target? Pointing at the target. Sort of, you know? Yeah. So it's gonna go and, you know, point at the target and then it's gonna kind of finish swivel behind your head when the right hand goes on. Okay. okay. Good, put a ball in place. Let's see if you can kind of point that club, let it overtake and point it at the target. Left hand looks nice, way to go. Softness, rhythm, weight. That's a little better. So you get the face on it, no problem. Go do it again. Do me a favor, every one of these, I'll pull the club up here and get that leverage point on top of the grip. Yeah, because it'll shake loose a bit. Impact will, you know, never hit two balls with the same grip. Club off the ground a bit, tap, tap, there you go. Feel the eyes on the ball, mind in the rhythm where the club head is. Okay. Shorter 
your thumb. There you go. Hold it up. Heel pad on top. Turn the point. There you go. Take a look where you're going. That's it. Okay. Do you feel how that could could have potentially been late? Yeah. You know, go back up to the top. Good. Good. Right. This has to get out, man. Let it get out. Get away from you. Don't pull. Don't pull it toward the ball. Get it away from you. Good try. It's all good. Is that kind of a better motion, though? Yeah, it's great. Okay. So, I mean, some of these fun things you can do. So you're going to always be working for a while on this leverage point with that heel pad getting on top of the grip between, obviously, the the heel pads between me and the grip, right? Thumbprints in the top right quadrant. So various ways of doing this, okay? You know, obviously a little a little harder. Find your radius, tap, tap, elevate, there's softness, turn, clip it out there, right? Okay, so let's, when we do this, you know, it doesn't have to be overly long. We feel sort of in control, right? Nothing's going to parallel. You tracking with me? Good. Straight up here, turn, let it flee away from you and hit it. Okay, show me. That's like extra credit. Excellent, great hand, way to go. So arm goes straight up in front of you. Yeah, good, good. There you go, Flee, get it fleeing away from you. Okay, face is pointed to the right, got good wood on it though, didn't you? Okay, good. So now, let's put two hands on there. Okay. Get Lift that club up, get that leverage point of that heel pad on top of the grip. Good. Put your good right hand on there. Restful right thumb on that's on the target side of the. Okay, good. Waggle's perfect. Way to go. Take a look. Let's hit one. Okay. It's okay. So the ball went to the right because things were sort of late. Agreed. Uh -huh. Yeah, the face was a little bit open. Okay. Well, so yeah. So if I'm pulling. Face is good, no chance, right? Get you again. Get that club up, leverage it under that heel pad. Thumb, thumb print. A little bit of trigger finger. Great looking pair of hands there, had a boy. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, shanky, right? So, tough lesson today, isn't it? I wish I wish it was more pixie dust than than just hard work. the The issue is, you know, we got you know far too much manual hinging of this golf club, okay. right? So there, there's my there's my there's my hinge. Watch this, from here to here, nothing goes. That's it. So. You know, like, there's my backswing. You're like, what do you mean there's your backswing? That's my backswing, look. See what I mean? That's my backswing. I don't let the club go to there, because I have no time to get that out. I'd really have to be patient to get that thing down. But yeah, I'd have to have my back turned to the target a long time. Like, And you could do that. If you had any kind of turn, now you're stuck. Right? right? So that last swing was very much the first swing you brought me today, which was a whew, you know? And I'm looking for... A little bit of opposing, right hand on left, you know, handle first, club head last. It's going to feel like a little three-quarter three quarter chip shot to you, buddy. Okay. Okay, show me a little three-quarter chip shot. Like barely past halfway back. And it's going to feel as though your hands are sort of in a mache, you know, a, a cast almost. So 
show me like no hinge backswing. Here. Yeah, and, and yeah, even even here. And softer and a bit more turn. Like, see how that's no hinge in the hands? Okay. You could play amazing from there. All this crap is what is what makes things way too complex. So yeah, give me soft elbows, no hinge, and chip one. Soft elbows. So go back. Soft elbows, bend them a bit, and get the club pointing the opposite of vertical, so don't move. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Soft elbows, no hinge. Chip one out there a little bit. Okay. Leverage point, thumbprint, awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Three quarters. Great try. Do it again. Same thing, three quarters, soft elbows, limited, no hinge. Okay, good, soft elbows. Okay, take a look. Come on over. I know you're just waving at it, but let's see. Pretty damn good. It's still a little pushy and pulley, right? See yeah, this start? I'm pulling at this one yeah, so I don't that know why, so you know, it's just because that's been the that's been your primer. Yeah. I want your primer to be one where you're pushing and the handle's the yeah, first thing to move. Okay. It's okay, hold on. Right, and so that's way better. I mean that's still super long, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm not I feel but it feels like it. I know. But see, again, that's a risk condition thing. You've been used to You've been used to, I could show you a kid from uh, Chicago that was down for a few days, for a few, he had a three hour session every day for three days. I'll show you. So, lefty. Okay, so he's working on, so see his wrist conditions? Yeah. See how unhinged that is? Mm -hmm. I mean, he could if he wanted to put the club here. He's just working on some different pieces than you. Let's see where he's actually hitting it sort of hard. See what I mean? Yeah. So that's, you know, you don't have to get the club parallel to the ground, do you? No. Right? And, he, and this kid he could rip it for his weight. Like, I bet he didn't weigh a buck fifty yeah. and smoked it. You see my point? Yeah. Like, I want you to get really good, so I want to take out some of the complexity of it. And that's why, like, left hand only swings for you. I would say, you know, put a few drill videos in your in your training space, but this thing's going to be massive. It's just left hand only swings without without this, without the drag, because the club's got to get away from you so you can square it. And you know, because you haven't hit one left, have you? Left hand only, because it's really easy to pull a handle and hit everyone over there, isn't it? Yeah. Leverage looks great. Awesome. Cool. Hit one, then we'll go do some routine stuff on the course. Club off the ground. Okay, handle first. Handle first, backswing. There you go. Handle first. Really good, dude. Really nice. Flushy. Good. Pack up your gear. Let's go do the rest routine on the course, okay?